In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to create a custom dashboard from a report in Service Cloud Lightning. Dashboards help you visually understand changing business conditions so you can make decisions based on the real-time data you have gathered with reports. In Desk, you can view pre-configured dashboard widgets within Business Insights and depending on your plan, you may have the ability to create some custom widgets based on specific data. In Service Cloud, you can extend that capability much further and create dashboards from any reports that you choose with the data you want to display using charts, tables, gauges and metrics. Then you can choose who to share those dashboards with and if they need more information, they're able to view the underlying reports too. Since we created a report that displays open support cases by case owner, group and priority in our last video, we're going to use that report to build our dashboard. So let's get started. An easy way to get to dashboards is by clicking on the app launcher in the top left of your Salesforce org. Then click on dashboards under all items. Next, let's click on new dashboard from the dashboards tab. Let's name the dashboard open support cases by case owner. Private Dashboards is set as the default folder, but you should store these reports in folders that the intended dashboard viewers have access to and create it in the Support Dashboards folder. Let's go into the Support Dashboards folder, click into our Open Support Cases by Case Owner Dashboard and click Edit. Next, we're going to click on the Component button and choose a report we want to use for our dashboard. Browse to the Public Reports folder, highlight our Open Support Cases by Case Owner report and click Select. Now we're in the Add Component dialog box, we can choose how to display our dashboard. By clicking on the different charts and tables, the preview of the dashboard will automatically be updated. Today we're going to use a horizontal bar chart. As you can see, we can also change how the data is displayed by updating the grouped fields in the y-axis. We can also choose whether to show values and how to sort the data. Lastly, we can make updates to titles, themes and the legend. Now we've chosen our display options, we're going to click Add. Once the dashboard component is added, we're going to resize the component as needed. We can also edit or delete the component by clicking the pencil and X icons. It's also possible to apply further filters to the dashboard. Let's click on the filter button and from the field dropdown, we're going to pick case category as our field type and leave the display name as case category. Next, click add filter value and in our example, we're going to set the operator to contains and check the spam case category value. Click apply and then add. This automatically updates our dashboard and filters out spam cases. Lastly, we can specify what people see when viewing the dashboard. Let's click the gear icon to open the properties menu. Under view dashboard as, we have a number of view options we can select for the dashboard and all the source reports. With dynamic dashboards, each user sees the data they have access to based on their security and sharing settings without the need to create separate dashboards for each user. For this view access, we would pick the Dashboard Viewer option. People can also see more or less data than they normally see elsewhere in Salesforce if you change the view options. The options can be changed to me, meaning people view the dashboard as you with your data access. Another person, meaning they view the dashboard with the same data access that person has. Or you can let them choose for themselves. In this example, we're going to select the dashboard viewer and then click save. Finally, we click the save and then done buttons and our new dashboard is ready. What's more, we can easily go back and add other components to our dashboard to show other report data visually. 
Now you and your users can identify trends and measure the impact of activities easily by using dashboards to give you a visual display of your data. And you've just begun to unlock the power of Service Cloud.